Hi everyone, Miss Klingen here. I'm in my nighttime clothes, ready to read tonight's book and get a bit sleepy. It's a short bedtime book tonight, so there'll be no questions at the end. It's called Watch Out Little Narwhal and it's by Jane Riordan and Richard Watson. Let's read it and hopefully we'll start to feel a bit sleepy, ready for bedtime. It is quiet in the Arctic, but hear that call. Who's that coming? It's Narwhal Small. And here with his tusk, it's Narwhal Pa. And the unicorn of the sea, it's Narwhal Ma. Look at me swim, squeaks Narwhal Small. I'm the fastest and the finest of them all. But this little narwhal doesn't look where he's going. This little narwhal shows no sign of slowing. Watch out, little narwhal! Bump. Poor narwhal small is completely stuck. He's tangled in seaweed what terrible luck! My silly tusk, says Narwhal Small. It causes such trouble, it's no use at all. But a friend with tentacles is here to help. It's Jelly Joe! The seaweed is knotted and twisted all round, but with Joe's long tentacles, it's soon unwound. Phew, what a tangle! You saved me, Jelly Joe! And with a nod of thanks, Small's ready to go. Look at me swim! squeaks Narwhal Small. I'm the fastest and the finest of them all. But this little narwhal doesn't look where he's going. This little narwhal shows no sign of slowing. Watch out, little narwhal! Crash! Poor little narwhal, completely stuck. Wedged in the ice, what terrible luck. My silly tusk, says narwhal small. It causes such trouble, it's no use at all. But a big strong friend is here to help. It's Polar Pete! He stamps on the ice with a thud and a thump. Crack! Small is free with one final jump. Look at me swim! squeaks Narwhal Small. I'm the fastest and the finest of them all. But this little narwhal doesn't look where he's going. This little narwhal shows no sign of slowing. Watch out little narwhal! Bump. Poor little narwhal is completely stuck. His tusk deep in sand, what terrible luck. My silly tusk, sighs narwhal small. It causes such trouble, it's no use at all. But a long shiny friend is here to help. It's Simmy Seal. She uses her snout to nuzzle in the sand. Soon Small is free, just as Simmy had planned. But Small is quiet now. Small seems sad. He swims away slowly, back to his dad. I'd rather, he sighs, have no tusk at all. I hate being different, says Narwhal Small. The next day, Small and his Ma and Pa are invited to a party. That's not too far. They arrive at the place. What a sight meets their eyes. A party just for Small. What a surprise. All the tiny creatures are waiting side by side. Then one asks very shyly if they can have a ride. 
Look at us go, squeaks Narwhal Small. My tusk is useful, after all. I may be different, I may look strange, but it's special being different and I wouldn't want to change. I love being just the way I am. And with a flick of his tusk, away small spam. What a lovely book that was tonight. It was a bit of a tongue twister at the end there, did you notice? I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you especially enjoyed the message that being different and unique is what makes us special. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I hope you're all a bit sleepy now and ready for bed. I know I am. I'm getting very, very sleepy. No questions tonight as it was a short bedtime story. But join me tomorrow for another book. Stay happy, stay healthy and stay safe. And I'll see you then. Bye.